I am uh, Sheldon Buchert. Um, this is my first year at the Under 100 show, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I've heard about this show uh, uh, a number of years from a couple different friends who have been in the show, and uh, they're very excited that they were in there and uh, loved every minute of it. So I'm looking forward to being in the show. It started over 30 years ago, and um, my inspiration, science fiction and fantasy, one of my early uh, inspirations uh, artists uh, was uh, Frank Frazetta and his style um, really got me at that time. I was quite a bit into fantasy art and science fiction at the time. Alex Ross would be one of the uh, top um, inspirations that I have there. One of the uh, uh, artists that just recently passed away, Neil Adams. Um, he used to do a lot of DC work, a lot of Batman, Green Arrow. Years ago, actually, uh, when I was in high school, I had an, an excellent um, art teacher. Um, so basically around grade 11, um, he taught a lot of the basics, but he gave it a, a nice twist so that you can actually see art for what it is. Um, after high school, I went to the Red Deer College and took my art courses there. Again, fantastic teachers, and one of the uh, um, teachers that I had was uh, Robert Moore, um, who's nationally known uh, now, and he really gave an in-depth look into art styles. So the style that I have now, that I've been doing for the last uh, 10 years, is uh, basically pop art, fan art, um, I'm also a published uh, comic cover artist, and so it kind of falls in the line of, of what I'm doing these days. Um, I'm a full-time artist now, uh, since the start of COVID, and um, I just find a lot of inspiration in, in a lot of stuff that I do, and it's a lot of fun. The way I do my art is I use a lot of acrylics, uh, copic marker, ink, uh, pencil, graphite, so a lot of my pieces are actually mixed media. Um, some of them are fully acrylic or others will be acrylic washes with enhances of ink and copic marker. Some of my pieces, they're not really actually in action. They're at the point where they are just about ready to take motion, to take that step, to lunge, to do whatever. So I add a lot of wisps in my art pieces to actually give a, a static character the imitation of just about going into action. So it's that millisecond just before they take action. A lot of the pieces that I do will have like a, a stoic power pose to them. Um, so it's not a lot of action sequences that I do. I wanted to do something that was different for Spider-Man. Spider-Man's been one of my long time uh, action heroes, uh, superheroes since I was a kid. But in this piece, what I wanted to do was to actually have him contemplating to actually, you know, he's, he's sitting on top of a, uh, a chimney, a smokestack, looking over the city and he's just sitting there thinking, contemplating about things that are going on with his life or with the city or whatever. So I've done a couple of these pieces with the different um, Spider-Men that are out there right now. And um, they're all in that kind of pose that could be within seconds before taking off or sitting there thinking about what is, is actually going on. What I find with um, a lot of the, uh, the customers or a lot of people in Alberta is that uh, they seem to like Marvel over DC. Now it's, it's not that I do Marvel only. I do actually quite a few DC characters. I don't really have them here, but um, at the art show, I will have a combination of all different um, superheroes, characters from different comic books or different movies or something like that. So besides the canvases and the frame pieces here, I will have uh, separate art uh, prints. Come and see me at the Under 100. I'm going to be in week one 
which is, I believe, December 1st to the 4th. And um, I'm looking forward to everybody coming to see my work. I'm gonna have some new pieces that will be there, some originals for the first time. So come on out and see me and, and grab some of my work if you're one of my fans.